If you're wanting to request Amazon reviews through a messenger bot flow, then keep watching this video because Troy and I are gonna show you this new feature with Seller Tools. So this feature is really going to be best used if you're running a rebate campaign and using a, maybe a Seller Tools template where you get them to go through a rebate flow and then you hit them later on after they've bought the product and gotten the rebate, you hit them with a review request message. That's where this is gonna be really cool, but if you're not doing that, then that's still fine. You can use this uh, free flow, this free feature, um, or to seller tools feature, you can still use it inside your messenger bot. So we'll just show you how, so keep watching this video. So let's go ahead and jump into it, starting with introducing you to Troy. What's up, Troy? Hey Ian, glad to be here. Excited to always talk about Amazon reviews and it's always great, of course, when we can cover it in a TOS compliant fashion. So excited to be covering this topic today. Awesome, me too. And if you don't know who I am, my name is Ian Smith. I run an Amazon marketing agency called Evolve Media. We help a lot of Amazon sellers with running Facebook ads, Google ads, Amazon PPC, building messenger bots, doing email marketing. So if you wanna book a free consulting call with me, then head over to evolvemedia.agency. All right, so Troy, go ahead and take over, show us your screen and show us what's up with this new feature. Yeah, absolutely. This is one we're really excited about. If you're running uh, messenger bots using ManyChat, very advanced but effective strategy right now. Uh, we also know there's been a lot of kind of questions and uncertainty uh, for sellers in this space using these more advanced strategies. And this kind of leads to a what I what I think kind of a sigh of relief, a safe, easy, effective way to automate the request of Amazon reviews. It's kind of if you had a magic wand, uh, this is what you would come up with. And so me sharing my screen, this is really as simple uh, as uh, this feature uh, and the ability and the, and the power of it. It's really just this, this easy. So the first thing that we are able to do is utilizing Solo.Tools uh, and the actions within ManyChat is first and foremost, we want to see if a customer is uh, eligible to be sent a review request. So what we do at Solo Tools is we communicate with Amazon and their API, and this is where it's a white hat 2S compliant uh, process. We check and see if a review request can be sent. If so, and that review request eligibility is true as a condition, we then pass that customer along in their journey and then have a review request sent to them automatically. And that's all done uh, again here within ManyChat, really behind the scenes. There's nothing that we have to message a customer. We don't have to get uh, concerned about the language that we're using, uh, whether it is messenger compliance, you know, so we're thinking about Facebook or whether it's Amazon compliance and that those terms of service, we get to really kind of throw terms of service concerns out the window and say, hey, what's the safest way to do this and effective way to do this uh, completely automated? And so Ian too, on the off chance that we see that that review request eligibility is not true, we'll come back in here, just add a, a quick little smart delay. Uh, we wait a day, we'll come back in and loop that back. That way we let the machine keep running to see, hey, is this uh, an opportunity to then send that review request uh, to any eligible customers? Now, a couple of questions that come to mind, you know, how does ManyChat connect their Facebook account with their actual Amazon order. Um, how, is, how is that actually working? Do they need their Amazon order ID? Yeah, so there's a few important connection points here. Now, if you're using uh, seller.tools, you've already in, added in your uh, API key. So let's say you were to manually uh, add this to uh, a flow that you utilize now, our free flows have this already included, so you're ready to go. But let's say you're using this brand new feature and setting up your own flows. One connection point will be that API uh, and your API key from Seller Tools. So that way we can communicate with Amazon while also communicating uh, with ManyChat. And the other piece of information we need in is that customer's order ID. Uh, the way I like to kind of consider that is that's kind of like their key uh, into uh, into our flows because obviously we get all that order and customer data, but that is what Amazon looks for uh, in terms of making this request and saying, okay, is this customer eligible to receive that review request? Cool. We check if that's true or not. Then if so, we then send along that, uh, that review request as well. Okay. And as far as the review request, is it an actual like Facebook message that they receive in their Facebook messenger inbox or is it an email? 
Yeah, here's what's really cool. It's an Amazon branded email that will go to uh, to that customer. So it looks as if it's coming from Amazon with your product, has five stars, uh, not pre-filled, but five stars available uh, there as well, as, as well as a little bit uh, below that in the email, it will also have the opportunity to request um, product feedback. So we have sellers and other other groups, uh, retail arbitrage and otherwise, that are also using this feature because they're saying, wait, TOS compliant coming from Amazon. We don't have customers opting out in the same way that we see with buyer-seller messaging. This is like a restart, a refresh of letting Amazon ask your customers um, for their feedback in the form of a review. So essentially, in Messenger, it's acting as a trigger to basically check if that person is eligible. And then once true, yeah, so it says true and they're eligible to receive, then it triggers that email to be sent out from Amazon and the Seller Tools platform. So they will receive this review request from Amazon, um, similar to how they would if they were to go into the seller tools platform, if, if you were to go into the seller tools platform and turn on the actual review request feature, right? Right. Yep. This just gives you the control for those, you know, those of us that are spending a lot of time in many chat, the, the ideas start really, really flowing here. Cause we think about, um, you know, post-purchase potential with inserts and things that we can do with postcards and otherwise, but then also tying this into some of our existing offers. If we want continuity in a, you know, a coupon code offer, or a rebate offer, a BOGO offer, um, being able to really customize this, um, you know, as you're offering support, let's say in Messenger and tagging a customer to a flow that, that will then take them into a review request. So you can also um, be selective, let's say, with who gets TOS compliant review requests. Uh, that amount of control with as powerful of a feature this is, that's really where mini chat can shine. So you can look at, okay, Maybe I want to set up a few features or, or settings in the Solo Tools app, but the way I use this in many chat may mean, you know, I, I tag the best customers or I have my post purchase really dialed in and I've got a, a trigger in place here for those uh, review requests. Yeah, so this is definitely a flow that you want built out if you've been running a lot of messenger bot type of campaigns that are getting people to either go through a rebate or just a BOGO deal or anything where you're, you're driving your Amazon customers through messenger. And one thing to actually mention, Troy, is you mentioned a look back period of 60 days. I think it was before we started recording this, but tell me about this whole uh, 60 day look back period. Yeah, so when we enable this feature, we can go back 60 days uh, in terms of your uh, your orders. Um, to be able to start requesting reviews. Now, one thing, an important thing to keep in mind is Amazon sets the sort of the guardrails, the days with which a uh, review request uh, can be sent. And that's between five and 30 days. So there's a few dates to kind of keep in mind there. The 60 days is exciting because as soon as you turn a feature on, you can go back and still take advantage of it um, and, and have those same customers, uh, eligible customers, Get those review requests but then as you look ahead um, and you'll see this again in the seller tools app uh, amazon gives us that that range of about five to 30 days uh, which is plenty of time to, to figure out okay in in my optimization strategy when does this make sense um, based on my product based on when that customer gets that benefit and you can kind of tweak it as well this is where the, the customization um, on both the app and in mini chat can really shine yeah definitely i think it's definitely a really cool feature and Amazon TOS compliant, if we haven't mentioned that yet, but it mm -hmm. definitely is something that you need to test around with to try and increase those reviews on your listings. If you need help setting something like this up or you have any questions about this, feel free to book a free consulting call with me by going to evolvemedia.agency. Again, you're going to need a seller.tools account in order to be able to use this because that's how you're linking mini chat with your actual Amazon Seller Central account. So um, you can get a free seller.tools account. Uh, for 14 days, got a 14-day trial. Thank you so much, Troy, for jumping on this video with me and um, showing everybody this cool new feature that Seller Tools has. And uh, we'll catch you guys all in the next one.